Among the many things you can do when you come to Tanzania, there is this. Visiting the hot springs of Chemka. At the hot springs of Chemka, every weather is perfect and the vibe is on point. Plus, you have these tiny fishes just nibbling on your calluses. Ooh. Land. We go to land. Welcome to my channel. This is the Bitakwe. Now I know what you must be thinking. You've heard the name Hot Springs of Chemka. You're thinking, is the water really hot? You know what? I'm thinking same too. By the way, my name is Victorine B. I am a content creator from Cameroon visiting East Africa, currently in Arusha. <laughs> Today we are going to the hot springs of Chemka to just cool off. It's been a long day. About 20 minutes from the town, we get to Chemka. Remember God Listen? If you watch my last video touring Arusha, he's been our tour guide. He's been telling us like this very, very hilarious stories. See, my elder sister loves corn. Anywhere she sees corn, she'll stop. So we got the corn and then we just saw some guys selling Airtel SIM cards. And since I've been in Tanzania for long, we got the SIM. Everything is working perfect today. We just got to the hot springs in, what did you call it? Chem, Chem cow. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. All natural. How deep is this? Ten. Can you come close? Yeah. Three meters. I know for this one meter for my height. Hey, mind you, this place is deep. If you can't swim, don't come here. Chemka, no matter. Chemka, no worries. No worries. Yes. Uh, thank you. Welcome. Uh, when you got it, you can't even. Hakuna matako matiti. A little background story. Kikuledwa Hot Springs, also known as Chemka, a Swahili word meaning boiling because of the hot water produced by the oasis, originates from the undergrounds of Mount Kilimanjaro. The underground produces a clear mineral water that flushes into this pool and is perfect for swimming. It takes at least one hour to leave Arusha to the hot springs of Chemka. Leaving Moshi, definitely more time. So when you come to Chemka, you have your changing rooms here. That's the first changing room. That's for the men. No, anyone? Anyone. Oh, it looks like a man. <laughs> and then that's for the women. I came dressed already, so I just need to over there, remove this. Toilets and other changing rooms. And that one is the new one. They are still building it. The changing rooms. Um. But the first one, the new one. And then but we are still using these small ones. Oh. Oh, not here. You can change here, there. Oh, over there, but there you can find toilets. Uh, yes, and also there's another one. Over there, it's a hut with grass. So my sister and I go behind to change and look at what we found. An iguana. Hey, Jesus, never seen this kind of thing. And then he ran away. <laughs> it was so scary. I don't know, are they dangerous? You know what? I'll just google it right now. See what I found. Iguanas do bite, but only in self-defense. Also, iguanas are venomous, but they are the least dangerous among venomous lizards. Hello, before I go on explaining, help me. Is that an alligator or an iguana? I really don't know. It was so Plus, fast. Plus, I've taken time to look and it's like nothing I have ever seen before. So it's more of the thing being unfamiliar. So if you know what that was, let me know in the comment section before I make a fool of myself. Or I already have. <laughs> hey, hey, at least I'm honest. I don't know what that was. I just gave a definition to something I was reading online to look smart. <laughs> so yes, I finally got into the water. Hey, if you can't swim, eh, don't come here. You know those small fishes? Like they eat not only your feet. They are everywhere. Every part of your body that is in water, they are there nibbling. If you sit by the water, the fish is definitely going to eat you. It's like thousand blonde needles just poking at you. But if you swim, I don't think they touch your body. <laughs> I ended up creating a show here. Like when I got into the water, people cheered. They're like, finally. <laughs> My other sister was so frustrated. Like, get into the water. You're floating. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> a fish can burst one of these balloons. <laughs> Let's go from no, 
Oh my god, I left from there, but I'm not able to. He wants us to go to that far place. I don't know. No. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, let, let's go back. No, let's go back. B. B. Yeah. Manji. Yes. Manji. 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 You know the manji? <laughs> manji. Manji. Do you know land? Land. Manji. We go to land. Hakuna Matata! Hey, like this is the only time Hakuna Matata did not work on me. <laughs> I had so many worries. <laughs> Hi! I'm good. I'm coming. Come on! Yeah. Okay. Turn the paper like this. Like this. No, no. Look. Can you slip it? Slip it like this? Like this? No, no, not backwards. Look, be there. Don't worry. So when you get to the hot springs of Chemka, they are renting out these floating balloons. One balloon is five thousand Tanzanian shillings. My sister and I took two. That's ten thousand Tanzanian shillings. And at the end of our session, my sister tipped Manji. Yep, for helping me out to swim. Thank you very much, big sis. <laughs> hey, like, have I spoken about how blue the waters here in East Africa are? Hey, my God. Blue, green oceans. Blue skies. Green trees. <laughs> so beautiful. White sands. Hey, white sands. The perfect place to fall in love with some madafu <laughs> and your sunscreen. Come on! Wow! It took me a very long time to get into this water. At some point, it became a whole spectacle and everybody was just like, you know when you're waiting for somebody to do something and the person is not doing and you are getting frustrated. <laughs> Everyone was frustrated. At some point, I was like, I'm going to break this swing. And I heard a white man shout, you're not an elephant, jump. <laughs> and then my sister, my sister kept shouting, push her. She's my little sister, push her! And I'm like, hey! See, person who come house with you, you want them to push me. <laughs> See those fishes? Hey, well, at some point it is nice, but then they're just everywhere anytime you step your feet into the water, so it gets annoying. Yes, yeah, so you may be wondering, is the hot spring of Chemka actually hot? Well, if you ask me, I'll say they exaggerated a little bit with the name. They should have called it the warm springs of Chemka. The water is not hot, hot, hot. It's just warm, you know, like room temperature. Bameta girl will not go out of the, the banks. Swim backwards. <laughs> and then I got the hang of the swing, not the water. I'm not going into the water again. You see that time I jumped into the water? The amount of water I drank. 
I'm like a na 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 water. It, the water should be it should be a bucket of water. Yes, just a bucket of water. If you pass bucket water, I'm not even just going close to it. But I wasn't scared of the swing. Yes, but I had somebody down just in case I broke the rope. <laughs> I said, Cameroonians, don't be mololo this. I said, I'll just take it and go and dry it and put in my rice. <laughs> Janga rice. <laughs> See the fish just feeling free and eating human calluses. Eh? In my area, we'll just send a net, catch all of you and go and fry. Yes, I know the kid was imitating me. <laughs> like some of them really hurt when it really hurts when you bite. I'm looking at this kid swimming in my neck. Eh, eh, I want a tilapia. That's a tilapia right there. Not a human being. Just in the water like Michael Phelps. That evening, we came back to Arusha town and we got Chipsimaya. Chipsimaya. <laughs> That's the name they call it. In Cameroon, you know in Boya, University of Boya, that fried potato and, and egg, like the frittata. Yes, that's what they call chips in my hair. But it, it was dry. It's not like the one here in When Cameroon. we came back, I was knackered. And not once did I sleep on my bed in Arusha. I was sleeping on the couch because I was hoping to not sleep so I could take the night to edit stuff in my phone because my phone was getting full. Strange story, I did not travel with my laptop, so I am suffering. Anyway, story for another day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.